Hey guys, this is the Canadian Baconer and I'm going to be giving you 5 steps to improve your YouTube channel if you guys want to be serious about YouTube. Now I am no expert by any means, I only have 500 subscribers, but the fact that I even got to 500 subs shows that I at least know what I'm doing for the most part. Now like I said before, I have composed this into 5 steps that will show you guys how to be more successful on YouTube, but now moving on to the first step have an idea of what you're going to do on your channel. Don't just hop in, make a channel, make random videos, and then assume that you're going to get big because that way that will not happen. You can't just be like, oh, um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing in this video. Yeah, what you want to do is just have a general idea of what your channel is going to be about. Me, I wanted to do a lot of gaming stuff, which is why I am obviously a gaming channel. Um, this can vary depending on what kind of channel you have, whether it's like a vlogging channel or like a gaming news channel or just like a social media or whatever. Just be aware of what kind of channel you are before you start making videos and have a general idea of what kind of content you will be making on your YouTube channel. But now the second step, get the right equipment. Now this can vary depending on what kind of channel you have, like I said before. I have a gaming channel, so what I need is a capture card. Now there are a lot of options for different capture cards for different prices. Personally, it is a horrible idea to use your phone because no one really wants to look at like a really bad quality gameplay opposed to something like, you know, native 1080p on a monitor with an actual capture card. Now there are a lot of options for capture cards like I said. There is the Roxo Game Capture HD Pro, which is what I use. It records 1080p, 30fps, and there's also the option to get 60fps with the Elgato HD60. Honestly, you don't really need 60fps on YouTube, but if you guys do have that extra money and you are serious about doing YouTube, feel free to invest in an Elgato. Links are down below in the description. Now another thing that you will need will be a decent mic. The first thing that people notice before your video is actually your audio quality. If your audio quality is bad, no one's going to enjoy listening to like, you know, a bunch of all the time because it's just not appealing to the ear at all. Now what I use is my blue snowball microphone. I got it for around $60, obviously it varies depending on where you live in the world, but it should be relatively cheap especially for the type of audio quality that you are getting. Now it's not really that much of a professional microphone which is fantastic, it's USB so it hooks up directly to your computer and it should get the job done really quickly. There are options for better microphones for a much higher price like the blue Yeti which comes in at around a couple hundred dollars I think it's like 150 depending on I'm not sure how it goes but it is relatively expensive so that is something that you will need really good audio quality now if you're not a gaming channel and let's say you like you do a lot of in real life stuff like a vlogging channel you may need a pretty decent camera now you have been warned usually your iPhone camera is a pretty decent choice for just you know doing day-to-day -day stuff but if you do want to get a much better quality or a much better picture um, feel free to invest in something like a Sony G7X those are kind of expensive, but uh, for what you're getting for it, I think it is definitely a great option. No, I don't actually have a camera, but I was thinking about actually investing in a G7X uh, a couple months down the line because I might be doing a lot more face cam stuff as the months go by. And now moving on to the third step, be open to change. Be open to suggestions on your channel because you cannot expect everyone to like what you have. Now what I've been doing recently is actually making a lot more vlogs and day in the lives because people have been really enjoying that over the past couple of weeks. If you guys have not seen my day in the life 2, link will be up on the top right corner of this video as well as down below in the description because a lot of people wanted to see that and so I had to deliver. Honestly, it is a lot of work making changes to your channel because it is just a lot of, you know, you're, you're not, you're testing your waters and you're not sure if you, if you really want to do it. But I'm telling you, if you make the right changes, your channel will become a lot more successful on YouTube. And now moving on to the fourth step, tell people about your channel. Honestly, if you feel confident and you really want to continue on YouTube, feel free to tell people. I don't care if it's like your family members, like your mom, your siblings, like I don't know, your friends at school. Tell people and people will subscribe to your channel if you are really serious about having a YouTube channel because the worst thing you can do is make great quality content and only have and only have let's say 10 subscribers because you don't tell anybody. Now social media is a great way to share your channel. Feel free to tell people to follow you on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All that stuff does help in the long run. Believe me, I know it works. Now moving on to the fifth and final step. Have fun on your channel. The only way that you guys will really succeed on YouTube, you know, minus the equipment and telling people and all that stuff, is that you need to have fun and give yourself a real purpose for being on YouTube and having that channel. 
And for me, I really have fun recording commentaries and making vlogs and, you know, showing people how my life is and all that stuff. And that's why I continue to do what I do, regardless of the countless hours of just staying up all night and editing my videos. And that's another thing. Be prepared to work hard if you are serious about YouTube because any of you who make really good quality content, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of you out there, it is not easy to make videos at all. Like even a 5 minute video takes forever to edit, it's forever to render, and you really gotta get everything right. Now I'm not gonna go too much into hard work, I might make that in another video similar to this, but it is a lot of work and I really feel like you should have fun regardless of how much hours you spend recording your videos and editing them. But yeah, that's actually going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed. Feel free to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already for more content like this. Feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The links will be down below in the description. Thank you guys for checking out this video as always and this has been the Canadian Baconer. Stay crispy and I will see you in the next video. Peace.